Howdy, howdy! Welcome back. Cowboy Car Crush in Dallas, Texas. Hope everybody's doing all right. I can tell you how I'm doing. I got 27,000 buddies. What? Golly. I'm coming by you, bro. This way I've been doing it all morning. Twenty-seven thousand. That is just. That's a big number. I, I don't. I don't care who you are. That's. That's just amazing. I just can't. There's lots of folks that have been here from the beginning. I had fifty. I had fifty subscribers. I had a hundred subscribers. At around three hundred, I was almost like, you know, um, this just saying. This just ain't for me. I just, uh, I can admit sometimes I'm not the most thick skinned person. And I'm like, what is, what is all this about? A lot of encouragement. Thank you very much. And my mama can see me now. And it's just amazing. It's just, uh, um, it's just the people I've, I've met and the people that really care. It's 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 pretty freaking cool. Because I turned like 40 years old and I started running out of people that cared about me. Like, whoa. But um, pretty cool. Really cool. So we've been here before. Uh, we were here recently. Uh, they're hitting it hard and heavy. And... We got the, we got we set up just like we did last time. We tried to get to the dry spot, and but look, hey guys, we're lucky to have something crushed. There's there's a couple of two, three, three crews at the yard. All right, there's two crews at the yard and one crew on vacation. Decided to do the talking part. We'll do the crushing part. I mean, that's the problem where we're stuck at right in the middle of the yard. But at least we ain't off in this slob. Man, I'd like to get that crusher back soon. I think they got another. He's got a lot of that welding done. He's got a lot of it done. Might, might get it back Monday or no, I don't want to. But that dude really likes that stuff. And of course, it's got to be done right. Twenty-seven thousand subscribers. Wow. Thank y'all so much. International cowboy worldwide. <laughs> this is just amazing. I'm gonna knock this bumper off. We're just happy to have something to crush. Woo! 
I got a lot of like wire stripping. Yeah, there's no way we can work in this. Once before we set the crusher up, like right here, we had like the, I mean, it just, we can't. All that trash and everything that falls down. What we got going on? We're crushing truck stuff right now. I see we got two vans. I'm just a common man. I crush a common van. Mario done got the stereo. We crush them near. We crush them far. I don't really care what they are. Somebody's got to help me out on that song. Come on. We ain't got no feather on it. I'm a jibber jabber old. Jibber jabberer. I'm not a lyrical gangster. See, that's what happens when you try to take the peak at that tank. <laughs> It'll slide away from you. All right, either unloading that wrecker now. Is he done with that SUV deal over there? Hey, y'all see the front of this Ford? You see the front end of the other Ford? Did y'all see the front end of the Ford that's on the right? These Fords are so hard to work on, over-engineered or something, or, or something's in the way, or you gotta have three different tools to take one thing off. It's easier just to solve all the frame and just let it fall out. It's quicker. Y'all see them doing them Chevys that way? I mean, I ain't no Ford Chevy guy, but I mean, it's right here before your eyes. So I would uh, automatically assume, like if you were doing a motor job at a shop where they charge by the hour, like, you know, shops do. I mean, some places just bid the job and some places just, well, it's an hour. It's, an, it's this much an hour. You know, I think my buddy, Big Dave, he's like one of the old school, and I, everybody tells him he's a super awesome uh, automotive electrical dude, like just awesome, triple throw down. And uh, he's $65 an hour. And most places are like 85. Uh, I've heard of like them dealerships, I think they climb up somewhere around $100 an hour. But. It's got to be more hours to take out a Ford motor than it has to be. I really don't want to stack anything, but I don't want to block myself either. All right. Oh, we got another guy with a trailer backing in right when that record pulled out. Oh, it ain't easy being easy. It's a lot easier when you've got 27,000 subscribers. <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank y'all so much. I, you know, I don't know why I haven't done it yet, but I actually, we got the numbers for uh, 2022. I don't know why I keep forgetting the jibber jabber about it. So we had 311 loads last year, is what I loaded. And I think I took an average. I'll look at it here in just a second. I got to get this truck out of this way so this guy can get in, and then I got to get out of their way. I swear I'm turning this loader five times more than I used to. I think it's starting to. Anyway, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna put. I'm not gonna put her business out there like that. Hey, that shirt Mario's wearing, it's like a goalie. See the elbows? I don't know if y'all can see it in the video, but they're padded elbows, long sleeve. Well, we found a, a case of them. All them, I mean, there, there had to be, golly, at least 50 in there. But the cool thing is, everyone, they were different sizes. It was like 10 of these, five of those, or, you know, there's like 10 of everything. I'm gonna get out of y'all's way. I'm gonna get out of y'all's way, then y'all figure out where y'all going. Hey, don't don't worry about the slot. It ain't bothering me. I don't like it getting on my gal, my lady. 
But well, he don't want to be at the yard. She don't want to be at the yard. Mario don't want to be at the yard. They're over there like wire stripping and whoo, sweeping, draining, cleaning. Look, he got out of the way. I got out of the way. I mean, it's what happens. We've had a lot of rain. we got a lot more rain coming. So I think with a 16 car average, 311 loads with a 16 car average, it came out to like 4,971 cars. I could have crushed more, could have crushed less. Uh, sometimes I send out six bundles. Sometimes I send out five. Sometimes I make five car or four car bundles. Uh, sometimes the bundles are nothing but bits and pieces. So, I mean, we can't come up with an exact number, but I think I got some other stuff written down. So, I think if you take those 311 loads and the average length of an 18-wheeler truck and trailer is like 72 feet or 70 feet, and it's like a mile. If you lined up every one of those loads, it would stretch for like a mile and three quarter, 1.7, something like that. So 311 times 22 tons comes out to 6,842 tons. Hey, this is my, my stuff. All right. Okay. Let's see here. All right, we're gonna have to crush one of these trucks and pull it out. That one's got a real clean tail or bed. Here's a fun fact, cowboy car crushing. I've seen a thousand comments about, you just don't understand the truck beds up here in the rust belt, but I've never had anybody come down here and buy one. I'm, I'm just talking, I'm just, I'm happy for those comments. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm sorry. I wish it wasn't that way. I, I don't know how I could be. I've never had to deal with something like that. I lived in, I was in Kentucky for uh, two years. I had a, you know, yeah, two, almost three years. I had a pickup truck. I mean, I dealt with the snow and stuff like that. I mean, I, but I ended up not having it. I got down to Texas and I just don't know what happened. Um, I park it in, I park it in, you know, my my apartment complex and come back and then be door deemed or um, then I was over at my mom's house one time over in her neighborhood and spent the night and the truck was outside and woke up next morning and like you can see where somebody shot it with a BB gun or something like for the window. Uh, and like the things just started like happening and I was like, man. It was a nice little Ford Ranger truck. It was kind of a cool little deal. Uh, so I had a, I had a wife and uh, I had a little Toyota Tercel, a Tercel coming out of high school, brand new, paid for it, joined the army. Um, I think I see a truck coming my way. Yep, I'll be loading the truck here in a minute. I spotted it on the other road. Y'all might have seen it. Get it. But um, I never have dealt with the rust stuff like that. I've never lived in those. Or, but I couldn't imagine buying a brand new truck and watching it rot away before you can finish the payments on it. It would like, like I couldn't, like I'd lose my mind. I think I would lose my mind watching it rot away faster than I could pay for it. But you can get them one seven year. I think I've seen, uh, you can get a car and the, the, the note is 86 months or something like that. Anyway, I don't do car payments. But, uh, I couldn't imagine watching. What do what trucks cost now or what they cost 10 years ago? 
shoot, 35, 37,000 and some of the trucks 40,000 back. That's very reasonable. I'm getting a truck here in just a second. <laughs> Y'all see the white tailgate on this truck? I remember a buddy of mine, he's like, dude, I need a tailgate. And I was like, well, your truck's, your truck's white, right? And he goes, man, I don't care what color. And he said, man, I need a tailgate. All right, dude, no biggie. So I took him, uh, got off work, and it was the weekend, and I took the tailgate out there to him, and he slapped it on. It was a black tailgate. He had a white truck white Chevy truck and he had to put that black tailgate on. Anyway, so we, they said, come on, let's run up to town. We drove around a little bit and run a couple errands. And then, uh, see, I stayed out there and sure enough, you know, we got up and went to town the next morning for breakfast and at the stoplight, there's a white Chevy truck in front of us with a black tailgate. My buddy's like, look, I done started a trend. <laughs> <laughs> I used to I done started something. White truck, black tail, tail day. Get it, Mario? I swear I saw a truck. Must be back at the end. Oh, come on now. There we go. Push that door in like you got 27,000 subscribers, buddy. Thank y'all so much. It's cool. I have met some awesome, awesome people. People that really, really care. I care too. I won't hurt the world right now. We might load that load and go to lunch. That's probably what the driver would do. We need a king cab. You know what it's like, three dudes trying to fit up in that single cab truck? A couple of drivers are big dudes. They're not slim like me. <laughs> uh, well, I actually think, I mean, I mean, shouldn't having 27,000 subscribers make me look a little skinnier. <laughs> Don't get too big for your riches, cowboy. Hey, folks, I've picked up on something that if you're trying to have a YouTube channel, uh, I got real lucky. I think it's I think it's seventy percent the cars, thirty cent thirty percent the cowboy. I mean, I got lucky, and I got lucky in several ways. My, my, boss, my uncle, he lets me do this. Uh, I'm, I'm filming my job. Um, you know, I don't necessarily have to round up content. I got really lucky. I got an automotive stuff is a, is a popular topic. And um, I got lucky. But, um, and I, 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 I push YouTube to a lot of people. Um, I, I saw this acronym HEM, H E E M. Humble, entertain, educate, motivate. You do a combination of those things, which, I mean, humble, that's just who I am. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm no better than nobody. Anybody can come out here and, and crush these cars. Anybody given the time can learn how to drive one of these loaders. Um, Uh, entertain. I, I, you know, I try to jibber jabber, tell some stories, goof off, uh, showcase things, uh, uh, educate. No, 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 no. There's too many. There's too many. There's too many haters, and and then, you know, I don't, I don't take, I don't take too much of this stuff out here serious. It's all getting shredded, trashed, tore up. You know. Uh, it's just that I'm here to have fun. I enjoy it. Um, so I'm not, I'm not educating anybody on anything. 
do not take any advice from the cowboy, other than be careful, be kind. And um, you can only play with the cards you got. But, um, and motivate. Um, I might talk a good game, but my size doesn't say I'm too motivated. No. Um, I don't know, maybe. But anyway, that's that's that that'll that'll get your that that'll get some attention to your channel that you're trying to uh, grow something with. I got lucky. I think of COVID, um, unfortunately, you know, it affected all of us horribly. But for me, a, a little silver lining of it was people were stuck at home and they were YouTube and stuff, you know. I've got like three of those, those, I think I took four or five of those shirts. I'll probably end up just cutting the sleeves. They feel weird when I put it on. It's like these, these pad deals on your elbows. I guess that's because, you know, when the goalie like jumps, dies. Don't want to skin his elbows. Man, why does this dude leave this loader right here? I mean, you look at this whole yard, man, they got over there. And you know what happens when you got a big old bundle, you get it up high, you hit one little bump, it wants to start nose diving on you. And all of a sudden, I'm going to have to pick it up to get around through there. Thumbnails are really important to, to, to having a little YouTube channel or, you know, a channel. That's important. Get some friends. Support people. They support you back. Fun, fun, fun. All right, we got a truck coming in. So I'm going to have to move some of this junk. Might as well just go ahead and knock the rack down. Turn the crusher off. Make me a little trail through here to load this truck. Yeah, the law is getting getting muddy toes, muddy feet. But hey, it reminds me of being back in Arkansas. Got them gals up there with black feet and dirty teeth. <laughs> home sweet home. shelves in there like somebody turned on these fans you never know what you see people do with these fans oh come on yeah Mario let's shut the crusher down and, well folks thank y'all so much for For supporting me and sticking with me. Sometimes I post a lot, sometimes I don't. I try to answer a lot of comments. I mean, I really do. Um, I'm having fun. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Hey, y'all should. Y'all should. <laughs> it's like my. It's like my instant foot in the door. When I try to get fly with the honeys, it's like, hey, do me a favor. And they see that 27,000, it's like, what? Who's this guy? Who is this guy? It's like instant. I swear. It's awful. You instantly have him intrigued. Like, what? This dude? Apparently, it takes a lot to impress these gals. My John Deere didn't even impress a gal. All right. 
Hope I can get this dude to move his loader. That'd be cool. Hey, I got one truck. I need to go right here. Oh, we got the Neon Ninja unmasked. Dang. Unmasked. Hat on backwards, throwing two chains at a time. Neon Ninja. Here to do some business. So, hey, it's, it's like that's it. Like, so... That meal, they all know that, that we ain't the only people doing this this um, car crushing stuff. There's a lot of people doing it, a lot of drivers, and everybody, like, it's out. Like, he is, he is the neon ninja. They're looking like Colonel Sanders ninja with that goatee and mustache. That's so awesome. Push the front, don't we? You want to push the front? You want to push that front over a little, or is it good? Right. The front looks like it needs to go over a little. That's fine. Right. What would y'all do? Action going down over here. People coming in, people getting stuck. I think I get through here. Yeah, last time, last time we were set up, and I had them do it this time. I was like, well, let's just try to get just to the very edge, like there, of this. Uh, now the guys with the ramps, I won't be able to to come through here like this. I'll have to go through the the hole. Alright, so what are we doing? We're only going to run five. Alright, folks. I'm going to get this truck loaded. Thank y'all so much. Coolest thing ever. Um, so, 6,842 tons times 2,200 of ton, which that's the ton I use because there's like six different measurements for a ton. Like, I don't get it. I mean... Ah, for real. Somebody Google that. There's like, I swear, at least at least six different. A metric ton, something. Hang on. Anyway, that comes out to like 15 million, 52,400 pounds. And then um, if you take them 490 there's 4,976 cars is what the 16 average really came out to, my bad. And if you times that, like say the, each car, it costs $400 for these guys, an average 400 bucks. That comes out to $1.9 million. Huh? That's what was spent average to put them loads, them 300 loads together. So I got, I got some more numbers. We'll get to them after a while. I'm sure we're going to load up and finish this load. Go eat. Y'all be careful, be kind. Thank y'all so much. International Cowboy. If my mama could see me now. 